This just in, makeup can make you look thinner. So join me today for a session with my personal beauty trainer to find out how. I am here with my friend Neil Chevelli. He's an amazing makeup artist and he's gonna give me a little much needed help. So Neil, I'm eight months pregnant. As much as people to my face tell me that I don't look that different, I know that my face looks different. So I need a little help with contouring. What are some makeup tricks that can help me look thinner? Well, basically, like you said, contouring is gonna be your main, main step. You really wanna play up the cheekbones, the jawline, and I usually also kind of blend that into the neckline. So let's do some sculpting. All right. One of the products I brought today was from Kevin O'Quan. I like to use a sculpting powder because okay. it literally creates that really contoured and defined look in the cheekbones. Where would you apply this? So basically you can take a little on your angled contour brush mm -hmm. or blush brush and use it right in the center of the ear. Okay. Bringing it forward. So I like to start right here, bringing it right along the cheekbone. Kind of just right in the hollows of the cheek. So you don't go all the way to like the corner of your mouth, it's just staying on the cheek. Well, I like to bring it forward, almost up to the bottom of your nostril. That's okay. your contour line, so you can bring it forward. And basically, this is gonna help to hollow out the cheek line. You can use it around the jawline. Right here. Okay. Bringing it forward and all around the jawline. And what I like to do is bring it downward as well, just to kind of blend it right into the neck area. Another great one is one by Mally Roncal. She's a celebrity makeup artist and she created a contouring palette with a three in one. Okay. So you're getting three products in one. You have a blush, a highlighter, and a sculpting powder, all in one palette. So we've already done the sculpting powder, then where would we use the blush and the highlighter? So you can take the highlighter right above the cheek. You don't want to put it in the blush line, you want to okay. put it above the blush right above your cheekbone. So now that you have your contouring, you wanna give some volume and some depth. Okay. So you can top it off with a cream blush. I like to use this one by Jouer. Um, it's really sheer and buildable, so you can just you start on the apples of the cheeks like this. And just work back. So like I said, using some blush just to top off the whole sculpting and contouring, is a great way to give a little bit of volume and depth to the, to the face. And if I have like five minutes and I have to rush out the door and I'm feeling really, really fat, <laughs> what, is there some quick fix that I can do? Yes, play up one of your features. So okay. I would say go with, go with a bold lip. Um, and that could be, you know, just a, a, a louder color than usual, just not to distract, but accentuate one of your features. Okay, so we're gonna go with a red? So I would say go with a red lip. This one's also by Jouer. It's, it's great because it is shea butter, so it's nice and creamy. It's bold, it's bright, and it's gonna play up one of your features. It's not to distract or to kind of, but more to accentuate. Together. And voila. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm, that's a really pretty red. So there's a lot you can do with just one color, you know? So it's like, I'm feeling fat, I have five seconds, I have to run out the door, I'll just throw on a bright red lip. And you're good to go. Accentuate the positive, and hopefully downplay the negative in the process. Right. And ladies, you have been taught.